Praised be Jesus and Mary. In the first reading today, our Lord speaks through the prophet and tells us that the just man will live by faith. And right before this, uh, Habakkuk is looking around and uh, sees what's going on in his own society. And he's complaining uh, to the Lord and wondering uh, why God doesn't intervene. But the point that uh, the just man will live by faith is the point that uh, is most critical to understand um, because the society in uh, which we live is far worse than uh, what Habakkuk was complaining about. We are uh, killing uh, 4,000 babies every day. Pornography and promiscuity is rampant. Um, there are uh, people pushing for same-sex marriage, euthanasia, embryonic stem cell research, human cloning, and the list could go on and on. We've been praying a long time with no apparent answer, but the answer remains the same. The just man will live by faith. You know, as Christian Catholics, uh, we must recognize the uh, immense dignity that uh, God has given to us, you know, creating us in his own image and likeness and calling us to union with himself. Just think of the millions of people that have no faith in God. They have not been given that gift that we have been given. You know, yet at the same time, we have to recognize our own unworthiness of this gift, that what we really deserve because of our sins is to be condemned for all eternity that we haven't been faithful and that even though he's given us this immense dignity, you know, by comparison to God, we're nothing. The struggle we have to, uh, to keep trying to maintain is uh, how do we see our own nothingness, and at the same time recognize our dignity? How do we understand that we are truly unworthy servants, worthless servants, and yet we're loved so much by God? It's a matter for us of being able to recognize that if God loves us so much, we have to love him in return. And to love him is to be obedient to him. But to be obedient to God in our society today is to be politically incorrect. To be Catholic is to be unpopular. St. Paul tells us in our second reading that we haven't been given a spirit of cowardice. We know that the fullness of truth resides only in the Catholic Church. We know that Jesus was persecuted, and he said that 
his faithful followers would also be persecuted. Now we have a choice. Are we going to be ashamed of our witness to Jesus Christ? Are we going to make excuses and be embarrassed to, uh, you know, when people ask us about our faith or when people attack the faith, are we going to stand up for the truth, which is to stand up for Jesus? Or are we going to remain silent? Are we going to be true servants of our Lord? So when we uh, look around and we wonder why God is allowing all of these horrible things to happen in the world, we have to realize that uh, in part it's to test our faith and to find out if we are going to remain faithful, or are we going to be embarrassed when it seems that everyone is opposed to know what we know to be true? You know, are we going to continue to stand up for what is right and true? Are we going to continue to strive to live what is right and true, even if the majority isn't. That's why God's allowing all of these things to happen. It's for our greater sanctification. It's to give us an opportunity to be like Jesus, to deepen our relationship with God, to test our faith, and see if we're willing to cooperate with the Holy Spirit and stir into flame that gift that was given to us. Not to hide it or be embarrassed about it, but to stir it into flame, to be on fire with the love of God and to bring Jesus and Mary and the truth out into the world. That's what being a servant of Christ is all about. We're called to remain faithful in our service of God and to know that uh, each and every promise of our Lord, each and every promise made through the prophets, and through the church will be fulfilled. Uh, the vision still has its time and it will not fail. The question is not about the fidelity of God. The question is about our own fidelity as to uh, Our, our faithfulness uh, as uh, worthy uh, servants of God.